for bringing five boxes of ramen. It's okay, you, you can go. No, I really think that you should go to the bathroom. I, I want to help you go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. I would really love to mourn with you and talk to you about this, but I have a huge presentation in 30 minutes. We're gonna be singing Good King Wenceslas, which is like a really old carol that no one's ever heard of. Oh, I'll come join the party in just a little bit. I'm researching how eggnog became involved in the Christmas tradition. Please, for the love of God, do not forget to turn the lights off of the Christmas tree. I may never own wrapping paper ever again. I booked all of us to march in the Christmas Day Parade, and you're playing tuba in the marching band. Do you really want me to decide where Elf on the Shelf goes? Because you do such a good job every year. Do you want to be the best version of you this Christmas? I know I do, because Christmas can be super stressful and oftentimes I'm like the worst version of myself. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Enneagram types on Christmas and how your fears impact your behavior. If you don't know what the Enneagram is, don't worry, I got you. I put a card right here with my simple beginner's guide to the Enneagram. I'm Abby Howe and I'm here to help you discover you. For more videos about Enneagrams and personality types, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Now let's get into the video. Enneagram 1. As the reformer, your biggest fear is of being corrupt and evil, like Voldemort. Because of this fear, ones are attracted to righteous causes. They always want to be on the moral, ethical, and spiritual high ground. This means that ones will have extremely high expectations of the people around them this Christmas. Okay guys, if you can bring all of the food you brought for the homeless shelter over there into those boxes, that would be great. Oh, hey Jennifer! Thank you so much for bringing five boxes of ramen. I, I, <laughs> I haven't had that since college. It is absolutely loaded with sodium. But yeah, if you want to put those over there in the boxes, um, maybe put them by those turkeys. I brought 17 frozen turkeys. It's just very hearty and a good meal for, for the homeless people. Um, but yeah, you can put your ramen right next to that um, if there's room. Now, ones won't usually say these things aloud, but you're gonna see it behind their eyes and behind their tight lip smile. So this Christmas, rejoice in the fact that you're making a difference with your life, but maybe chill out on the judgment for your neighbors. Enneagram 2. As the helper, your biggest fear is to feel unloved and unwanted. Because you rely on others to fuel your self-worth, you become the Christmas caregiver. You're taking care of everybody around you, even if they don't want it. Is this the uh, line for the bathroom? Yeah, go, go ahead. No, it's okay, you, you were here first. Oh, no, it's okay. I, I know what it feels like to be waiting in line for the bathroom and really have to pee, and then you're like waiting for them to come out and like it's really painful and stuff. I, so yeah. you should go. <laughs> no, yeah, it, it kind of seems like that's happening right, right now to, to you. To me? Yeah. No, I'm doing this new dance move I learned at the Christmas party. Um, it's where you push your legs really close together and just kind of sway side to side and like make weird faces. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's okay, you, you can go. No, I really think that you should go to the bathroom. I, I want to help you go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Just go ahead. Go to the bathroom. Go. Go. Okay. Go to the bathroom. Oh my god, I'm gonna pee my pants. When you get that itch to jump on your white horse and save the day, close your eyes and ask yourself this question. Is this reasonable? Is this my task to do? If you're not sure, go ask a trusted friend who is not a two and ask them like what their opinion is because they probably have a better understanding of the situation than you do because you're a little clouded by your helperness. Enneagram 3. As the achiever, your biggest fear is of being worthless. And if you're an unhealthy three, you will work and work and work and work. You are living for your goals, but if something with emotion or feeling comes up this holiday season, you squash it down because you're afraid that it's going to interfere with your work and your objectives. Hey, what's up? I'm working. Spike died? I would really love to mourn with you and talk to you about this, but I have a huge presentation in 30 minutes and I absolutely cannot slack on it, so I really need to go prepare. This holiday season, three should practice dealing with their feelings right away instead of pushing them down to focus on work. In the long run, this will result in a healthier you. Enneagram 4. As the individualist, your biggest fear is of having no identity. Thankfully, the Christmas season is full of opportunity for you to express your unique personality. 
I've organized a caroling party, but we're not using any electric lights because I think candlelight is so much more authentic, don't you think? Anyway, I hope you can come. We're not singing any of those boring top 40 Christmas carols or anything. No, no, no. We're gonna be singing Good King Wenceslas, which is like a really old carol that no one's ever heard of. This Christmas, celebrate what's going on around you and accept who you are in this exact moment, which is awesome. Enneagram 5. As the investigator, your biggest fear is of being incapable. Because of this, fives collect knowledge of any kind, and they often get lost in this information gathering highway, and they forget to hang out with other people. Oh, I'll come join the party in just a little bit. I'm researching how eggnog became involved in the Christmas tradition. Did you know that it began in the 1700s? Fascinating. Yeah, this is gonna take hours. My gosh, <laughs> they put nutmeg in it. That's crazy. This Christmas, try to venture out of your comfort zone and spend time with the friends and family in your life. Enneagram 6. As the loyalist, your biggest fear is of being unsupported. Because of this, you can often fall into a pattern of worst case scenario planning, especially during the holidays. If we leave the house with the Christmas tree lights on and the entire house burns to the ground, I specifically took out Christmas tree insurance just to make sure that we're covered. That said, I, I really cannot bear the idea of our house and all of our belongings burning to the ground, so please, for the love of God, don't leave the Christmas tree lights on the tree when we leave the house. You know, you know what? I'm just gonna take the lights off of the tree. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the tree outside in the snow so we don't even have to worry about it. Oh, I feel relieved. Did you leave the fireplace burning? This Christmas, I challenge sixes to see the difference between reasonable fear and unmanageable anxiety. If your life is ruled by worries, you're not gonna have any fun. Enneagram seven. As the enthusiast, your biggest fear is of being deprived. This means that you often see yourself and your life as being inadequate, and that puts you into a scarcity mindset. Did someone use my wrapping paper? Because it looks like someone has used my wrapping paper. I bought this stuff with my own money, and now someone has blatantly gone in and used it and disrespected me and my property. I may never own wrapping paper ever again. Nobody touch it. This holiday season, try to be grateful for what you have and know that sometimes less can be more. Enneagram 8. As the challenger, your biggest fear is of being controlled or harmed by others. This means that you always want control, and that can translate into you being in charge of the entire family social calendar for Christmas. Okay, Sunday we're all gonna go to the candlelight service, and then Monday morning we're going to the Christmas tree farm, and Monday evening we're going to Santa's village, and we're gonna see all of the elves and Santa, and then Tuesday, get this, I booked all of us to march in the Christmas Day Parade, and you're playing tuba in the marching band. <gasps> I know! And I know you really can't play the tuba, so I booked you a ton of lessons from now until Tuesday. This Christmas, practice vulnerability. Ask yourself, what feeling is this? And am I using control to cover it up? Enneagram 9. As the peacemaker, your biggest fear is of loss and separation. This means that you can have trouble making decisions. Do you really want me to decide where Elf on the Shelf goes? Because you do such a good job every year. And I don't know if I should put it in the fridge or the closet or above the fireplace or outside. There's honestly just so many choices. Why don't you choose? I don't really want to do it because it's too much pressure and I can't decide. This season, know that your voice is important. We want to know where you put that elf on the shelf. What shelf is that elf? on. Where'd, where'd you put the elf? Enneagrams are fascinating to me, obviously, because I've made tons of videos about them on my channel. You can check out the playlist of all my Enneagram videos in the description down below, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single Thursday. So thank you so much for watching, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all of the things. Have a great day.